And now to some new developments on a threat to Israel. Iran has vowed revenge for its strike on its consulate, and U.S. officials say that attack could come at any moment. The U.S. has issued a travel warning for Israel because of it, and tonight President Biden is responding. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with all the details. Dick. Maurice and Christine, the attack is not expected to target American forces since Iran does not want to draw the U.S. into war. It's believed they'll hit military targets inside Israel. But this afternoon, President Biden had a one-word warning for Iran. What's your message to Iran in this moment? Don't. President Biden putting Iran on notice. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. The comments come as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu visited an Air Force base today as Israeli forces go on high alert. A U.S. official tells CBS News Iran's Revolutionary Guard has completed preparations of drones and missiles to launch into Israel. More than 150 cruise missiles are ready to go, and that number has gone up in the past couple of days to make sure some get through Israel's defenses. We are prepared to defend ourselves, both on the ground and in the air. Iran vowed retaliation after a deadly airstrike on its embassy in Syria earlier this month that it blames on Israel. Israel's defense minister met with U.S. CENTCOM commander General Kurilla. We discussed the close cooperation between the United States and Israel, between our defense establishments and our militaries. Attacks on U.S. forces in the Middle East have been on the rise since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war in October. Experts on the region worry about a widening conflict. Things can quickly escalate uh, tit for tat, uh, uh, missions targeting, um, and all of a sudden you might have a full-fledged conflict. George Washington professor Sina Azadi says different political factions in Iran are at odds over a response. These two factions are pushing in different directions. I think the government of Iran wants to find uh, an honorable way out of this. Now, sources tell CBS News Iran has also increased shipments of weapons to proxy groups throughout the region, putting a potential target on U.S. forces. Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.